going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about some really, really exciting news that we have all been waiting for, but we're gonna hold off on telling you right now because we may just have some more really exciting news coming up in just a minute. We're headed to the hospital right now. We're gonna find out. Pray that I'm about to, about to. Pray that I'm about to, about to. Pray that I'm about to, about to. So we're gonna open some of the packages you guys have sent us. We just went to the P.O. box. Um, gosh, I got so much stuff in my car, guys. That's not from you guys. But anyway, Kaylin, mail time. Woohoo! Mail time. Woohoo! Woohoo! Look at how pretty they really are. Look at that. So pretty. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're my wife. Magnolia snow. That, that is, is so, so cute. pretty. Ah, that's cute. What's it say? Due dates are dumb. So uh, right due dates are dumb. Yeah. I showed you one like that. You showed me one like that. Yeah, yeah. that said due dates are dumb. Magnolia snow, 28 weeker. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Little birdies. Oh, mama's little early bird. Oh, that's so cute. And then that's the back really side. Cute. Oh, that's a preemie. Show on the back side. That is so cute. Oh, we follow her on Instagram. Oh, we do? Call me Katie Bug. There you go. Thank you so much. That is really, really cool. We can put that on her. Oh, we had to wash it first. Yeah. But we can put it on her as soon as we wash it. That's yeah. really nice. I like that a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a girl. Oh, an Amazon gift card. Where's it from? I don't know how to say their name, but their last name is Batten. Look at that pretty card. It's a girl. That's so pretty. What's it say inside? The Batten family. The Batten family. Thank you, Batten family. It says, when she smiles, may you never forget what love truly is. Congratulations. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. So this is from Angela Methlin from Wales, South Wales. We got a beautiful card and a cute little bracelet. It's so pretty. It's cool. Thank you so much. So we got another one. This one's from London. And who's it from? Miss K Reader. Oh, it says Magnolia. Oh, and these are like little, um, those little cards that you put. That's she so already cool. arrived, but we'll have to see what else is in there. We'll have to fill those out and put them in the scrapbook. That's really cool. Get a cute little card on the birth of your new baby girl. Congratulations and welcome to the world, little lady. Thank you. we're in Magnolia's room now and something that we do love about this little room even though it's so small and we are in isolation we have to wear these gowns but something that's nice about this room is we can kind of like do our own thing in here um, we can blog when we want to we're not interrupting anyone else we can also have the music playing we have our iPad over there with music on it um, and it just plays non-stop it's connected to a power source connected to the internet and so Magnolia has good music playing all day long, so that's really special. All right, guys, so they just did rounds, and good news, they are going to be adding my milk back in with the formula. So just a little bit, it's gonna be about a fourth of my milk with three-fourths formula. We'll so we're gonna slowly, off. we're gonna slowly start adding my milk back in, and hopefully she won't show that she's allergic to it. Um, and also possibly moving today, maybe, hopefully. So right now she's on Elacare, solely on Elacare. And um, if you don't know why, then go back a couple of vlogs. Um, 
she had blood in her stool and she had to come off of feedings totally and then um, they put her back on Elicare because they thought that the pre-digested Elicare would help her. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty good. She didn't poo for a week, but she pooed. She pooed. She pooed. That's super exciting. That's exciting news number one. Exciting news number two is that we're gonna put her back on a little bit of breast milk. And exciting news number three may happen. We might move to NICU too, which would be amazing. Right, Miss Magnolia? Yeah, would that be amazing? Girl. Woo I can't wait to move. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you do it. One, two, three. You just did a good job. Yes, you did. You did a good job. <laughs> so who is this greedy man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like your thumb. I'm gonna eat your fist. <laughs> That's scary. That's scary. <laughs> oh, look at those bug eyes. <laughs> scary face, baby girl. Gotta go pooty poop poop. Pooty poop poop. One. Two, three, four, five. This is my baby. Yes, it is. This is my baby. So, a quick update on Magnolia. She pooped on Sunday, and she has been a pooping machine ever since. So, today is Tuesday, and she pooped twice this morning. And she's working on something this afternoon. So I think she's gonna go again. So that's really, really good that she's becoming regular again. Everything else is looking really good. So hopefully we'll be able to move to NICU 2 very, very soon. All right, so we do have a lot of new subscribers. So I did wanna, we have been getting a lot of questions about why is Magnolia in the NICU and what happened and all that stuff. So just a really quick recap. Um, she was born at 28 weeks and 5 days because I had preeclampsia. My kidneys were failing, so they had to deliver her. That's the only way to get rid of preeclampsia, is to, is to deliver the baby. So she was born really early, and so she's been in NICU. She was born at 2 pounds, 14.9 ounces. As of today, she is 5 pounds, 14 ounces and she is just growing. She had a lot of issues with her belly in the beginning. It was just really, really poofy. They couldn't figure out why, but it has gone down. Or if you wanna know more about our journey in general, just, you know, getting to Magnolia, because we did do IVF to have her, check out our birth vlogs. There's three of them, so birth vlog one, two, and three, and that'll get you up to speed on everything that's going on. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys? We're back home and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna stay here tonight and it's already dark outside, you see. So um, yeah, we are enjoying our time at the McDonald House, but it's really adding up pretty quick. We're at 54 days in now, $10 a day. That's four, 550, pretty much 550 bucks tomorrow. Um, so anyway, we are probably going to stop staying at the McDonald House soon just because it is adding up so quickly. And we're so close to NICU 2. Actually, we thought we were really close to coming home, 
and I cannot reenact the excitement I had when I thought we were actually coming home. So I'm gonna play that right now. A couple days ago, we were putting the car seat in. We were on the way to the NICU, and I was like, guys, we're coming home so soon. I'm gonna play that right now. All right, guys, so I have a feeling. I have a feeling that Magnolia may be coming home sooner than her due date. And maybe, here's my gut feeling, in the next, like, two, to two and a half weeks and my instinct told me today today is the day you need to get that car clean and you need to get that car seat in the car i'm thinking like two two and a half weeks let us know in the comments below based off of everything you know about magnolia and how she's doing if you think she'll be coming home early and uh, let us know go ahead and give a date so yeah we'll play that game i think i'm confident enough that she's doing well enough that we can uh we can lighten up a little bit and play games. Two and a half weeks exactly from today is May 7th. As soon as that excitement hit, we had the setback with the blood in this tool, and that's really set us back quite a bit. Like she has to take eight bottles in a row of 54 milliliters and then more, because the more she grows, the more she has to take. Right now, guys, she's at like max 25 milliliters and that's not even every bottle that's like I can do she can do 25 milliliters one time and then not take another bottle for a day or two anyway we have that setback and it's kind of annoying because we're so close we just want to get to NICU too so that we can stay with her hopefully this will start to feel a little more real but anyway guys my lights blinking I hope you enjoyed this vlog hope you liked it hit that bell notification and uh Oh yeah, we got a giveaway. Let me find out who to give this bottle to. Jody Tedrick, I believe is how you say it. Jody Tedrick, if uh, you're watching this video, leave me a comment below or um, email us at kaylinrobert at gmail.com. Let us know that you are you and your address and we will get that to you. Hope you guys have a great night. Subscribe, hit the bell notification. We'll see you next time. Adios! Pray that I'm about to